Chapter Eleven: Chitravati Nights. After the cholera incident, elders were very impressed with little Satya's wisdom and fearlessness. They wanted him to become their children's guide forever. They would come to Satya and say, "Raju, you instilled courage." And confidence in our children, and made them very enthusiastic. You teach them whatever you know. No other education is necessary for them. Satya agreed. That was, after all, his grand plan. People began to address him as our tuition master. Look, our tuition master. He taught them spiritual and moral topics along with alphabets. He told them, "You should never be in bad company. You should not criticize others. Whatever good you learn, you must teach it to others as well." Give your hundred percent to all your work. Those classes change the attitude of the children for good. During the full moon nights, little Satya used to take the group of children to the Chitravati river bed. They stayed from six in the evening till late in the night. The elders joined them as well. They played kabaddi. Satya encouraged the children to play as well. He said, "Why don't you all play as well? It is good for the body." But the kids were reluctant to leave him, and said. Raju, we want to hear your beautiful bhajans only. Please sing; we will follow. The boys were in awe of Satya's compositions. They said, "Raju, how did you acquire this poetic skills? We love to sing your compositions. Please compose more." Nothing in the world was comparable to the nights spent at the Chitravati river bed under the full moon with Satya's charming voice caressing the ears. A strange trend followed after Satya placed his head on a boy's lap and his leg pain miraculously disappeared. The boy narrated the incident. Yesterday, Raju kept his head on my lap, and my leg pain disappeared, and I gained some inexplicable joy. Thereafter, the other children also craved for that privilege. They quickly chalked out a plan. We will ask Raju to place his head on each of our laps and relax till the count of fifty. This way, we will all get a chance to experience joy. Satya always obliged. The boys loved him so much that all their wishes were fulfilled. Satya would lay his head on each lap. And provide joy to all. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, 